certain rare body features are present in few people across the globe. After all, humans are a particularly unique species, despite there being close to 9 million species living on the planet. Wendy's Frosty is nothing short of iconic. According to Wendy's original Frosty guy, Fred Kappas, the drink was born in the 1960s, when it was inspired by a frozen treat at a racetrack in Cleveland, Ohio. Obviously we have similarities, to apes. Ian Tattersall, a paleoanthropologist at the American Museum of Natural History in New York, told BBC Future. We have similarities with everything else in nature, it would be astonishing if we didn't. The sign at the track read, Secret Formula, Frosted Malted, but the secret was pretty easy to figure out, they mixed together vanilla and chocolate to create a smooth, malty flavor. But we've got to look at the differences. From cooperation skills to the ability to produce art, people are, by definition, one of a kind. Humans don't just differ from other species, though. We're also different from one another. Despite a worldwide population of over 7 billion people, each person has an entirely unique face. Wendy's founder Dave Thomas thought it would be the perfect accompaniment to the chain's burgers and French fries, and the rest is history. According to Reader's Digest, the chain was selling 300 million Frosties per year by the mid-2000s, and they haven't stopped there. Frosty promotions continue to soar, from Wendy's 50-cent Frosties for their 50th anniversary in 2019 to the announcement of their new flavor, the birthday cake Frosty. But for us, it's all about that classic chocolate Frosty, but getting it from the drive through isn't always an option. So we wanted to figure out how to make it at home and mixed together a very short ingredients list to create a three-ingredient copycat Frosty you can make at home. Bodies, too, are incredibly diverse. This means that we are all unique. Yet and still, there are some people who are especially extraordinary or more unique on a biological level. Is it as tasty as the original? Does it have that same semi-melted consistency we've come to know and love? Read on to find out. Gather the ingredients for this three-ingredient copycat Frosty before we got started, we took a peek at the ingredients list on Wendy's website for their classic chocolate Frosty. From extra body parts to heightened senses, these are some of the rarest features very few people have. An extra rib is a rare body feature you might not even notice most people have 12 pairs of rib bones equaling 24 total ribs. However, there's a chance that some people actually have 25 ribs. We knew that they, for sure, use more than three ingredients, but we wanted to try to be as authentic as possible with our shortened list. There were several familiar ingredients like milk, sugar, corn syrup, cream, cocoa, and natural vanilla flavor. We skipped over all the stabilizers and emulsifiers, like guar gum, sodium citrate, and vitamin A palmitate, knowing that we could find some of them in store-bought products. In the end, we chose the three ingredients that would maximize the flavor bang for our buck, chocolate milk, cool whip, and sweetened condensed milk. One in 200 people have a rare body feature that's called a cervical rib. Health Beat, a publication of the Department of Surgery at Flushing Hospital in New York, revealed. A cervical rib is present at birth and it forms above the first rib, growing at the base of the neck, just above the collarbone. You can have a cervical rib on the right, left, or both sides, the article revealed. The chocolate milk would knock out the milk and cocoa components while the Cool Whip contained additional milk, corn syrup, and guar gum, an ingredient that keeps ice crystals from forming in milk, making ice cream extra creamy. It's possible you have one and don't even know it. This is because this extra rib doesn't always form completely and may just be a thin strand of tissue fibers that wouldn't even be present on an X-ray. It may sound concerning, but cervical ribs are usually no big deal. If the rib puts pressure on blood vessels and nerves, a condition called thoracic outlet syndrome, it can be painful. The sweetened condensed milk would bring it all together with a punch of sugary flavor. You'll find a full list of the ingredients, including the step-by-step -step blending directions, at the end of this article. Do you need an ice cream machine to make a three-ingredient copycat Frosty? Wendy's uses ice cream machines to make Frosties in their restaurants, but that doesn't mean you have two. Thankfully, it's treatable. Having different colored eyes is a rare body feature amongst humans you probably don't think twice before filling out your eye color on a form, but this seemingly simple question becomes a lot more complicated for someone with heterochromia, a rare body feature. Derived from the ancient Greek word heteros meaning different and chroma meaning color, a person with heterochromia has a difference in eye color, according to Medical News Today. 
Three types of this condition are known to exist, complete, central, and partial. A person with complete heterochromia has two different colored eyes, like one brown eye and one blue eye. Two different colors in the same iris is considered central heterochromia. According to the square deal, the original Frosty was made in a standard, four-quart soft-serve ice cream machine, but the company quickly sized up to larger machines to handle the volume. Luckily, we're only making enough Frosty to serve one person at a time, so you don't need any fancy equipment. Instead, we'll freeze the ingredients and blend them together using a high-powered blender. If you do want to scale this recipe up to make enough for a crowd, we do recommend using an ice cream machine instead of a blender. Lastly, partial heterochromia means just a part of the iris is a different color from the rest. Heterochromia is most often genetic, but it can also occur as a result from various medical syndromes or even an eye injury. Pouring the ingredients into the ice cream maker is not only easier to pull off, but making several batches in a row might overheat the motor on your blender. Heterochromia, whether acquired or genetic, is extremely rare. Just keep in mind that the bowl of the ice cream machine probably needs to be frozen before getting started, so check with the manufacturer and follow all the directions before proceeding. Is Cool Whip a required ingredient to make three-ingredient copycat frosty? Cool Whip is one of the staple ingredients of our three-ingredient copycat frosty recipe for a few reasons. For starters, it's sweet like ice cream but contains a lighter, softer texture and consistency. In the United States, fewer than 200,000 people have the condition. Not many have the rare body feature red hair Natural red hair is rarer than you'd think. Worldwide, it occurs in only 2% of the population, Jackie Collis Harvey revealed in Red, a history of the redhead, although it is slightly more common 2-6% in Northern and Western Europe, or in those with that ancestry. As Harvey explained, red hair is recessive. That's important for replicating Wendy's Frosty because the texture is closer to soft serve than ice cream. In the great genetic card game, the shuffling of the deck that has made us all, red hair is the two of clubs, she wrote. We also mentioned earlier that Cool Whip contains guar gum, a food additive made from legumes. It is trumped by every other card in the pack. In order to have a child with this hair color, both parents need to possess the gene. In the United States, it may not seem like red hair is all that unusual. It's high in fiber, so it may contain some health benefits, but it's mostly used here to thicken up the whipped topping and keep the milk from forming ice crystals. If you're not into all the additives in the container of Cool Whip, you could certainly make your own whipped cream. Keep in mind that cream doubles in volume as it's whipped, so you would only need to whip one half cup heavy whipping cream. You'll also want to add about a tablespoon of powdered sugar to the mix to give it the right sweetness. However, that may be because a disproportionate amount of redheads are featured in American advertisements. While redheads only make up a tiny part of the population, one study via HuffPost found that 30% of ads feature the hair color. When you're finished whipping, store the whipped cream in the freezer for at least an hour before making the recipe below. What can you do with the rest of the sweetened condensed milk? Our three-ingredient copycat frosty recipe makes a single serving, so you only need one tablespoon sweetened condensed milk. Plus, when you factor in people who've dyed their hair red, you can see how we've all been bamboozled into thinking this rare body feature is commonplace. Gray eyes are a super rare body feature most people with red hair have either green, brown, or hazel eyes. That leaves a lot of product left in the can. The good news is the leftovers will last a while, three weeks in the refrigerator or up to three months in the freezer. Leaf recommends transferring the sweetened condensed milk to an airtight container, as the product becomes less fresh as it's exposed to air. From there, you can use the remaining can for your favorite recipes. We've created several three-ingredient recipes that use a can of sweetened condensed milk, including three-ingredient banana bread and three-ingredient fudge. A combination of red hair and blue eyes is even more rare because both traits require both parents to possess the gene, Medical Daily explained. Removing a single tablespoon or roughly a twentieth of the can shouldn't impact the recipe too much, so bake away. In addition to baked goods, have some fun with no-bake recipes like key lime pie or no-churn ice cream. And blue eyes are already pretty rare in and of themselves. You can also add sweetened condensed milk to iced coffee or tea drinks, or create a refreshing Brazilian lemonade drink by blending it with limes, water, and ice.
Start by making chocolate milk ice cubes for a perfect three-ingredient copycat Frosty OK. Now that we've reviewed all the ingredients, it's time to get started making our three-ingredient copycat Frosty. The only way to make this recipe without an ice cream maker is to freeze the chocolate milk in ice cube trays. That means you'll have to plan ahead. It takes at least four hours for the milk to freeze, and it may take longer, depending on the temperature of your freezer. Only an estimated 8 to 17 percent of the world's population has blue eyes. An even rarer eye color, though, is gray. World Atlas reported that less than 1 percent of the human population is estimated to have gray eyes. We recommend preparing the ice cubes a day in advance to be sure they have enough time to freeze fully. It should take about 1 minus 1 quarter cups of chocolate milk to fill a 16 cube ice cube tray. If you don't have an ice cube tray handy, you could also freeze the milk in a freezer safe bag. A low level of melanin in the front layer of the iris leads to gray eyes, the site explained. When the milk is completely frozen, smash the ice until the pieces are small enough to fit into the blender. Although your chances are pretty slim of meeting someone with gray eyes, a rare body feature, your best bet is in Eastern and Northern Europe, where green eyes are also more prevalent. According to World Atlas, the only rarer eye colors than gray are red or violet, which is often the result of the already rare condition albinism, and heterochromia, two different eye colors. Only about 40 people have the rare body feature, golden blood, only 0.6% of the American population is AB negative, but that is not the rarest type in the world. According to the Australian Academy of Science, Renal, blood that entirely lacks RH antigens, is much rarer. In 1961, an indigenous Australian became the first person discovered to have the blood type. Since then, only about 40 additional people have been identified as having the blood type, making it a truly rare body feature. There are nine active donors in the whole community of rare blood donors. Nine, Sandra Nance, the director of the American Rare Donor Program, told Smithsonian. In a pinch, you could also use a thoroughly cleaned plastic egg carton or a regular egg carton lined with aluminum foil to make ice cubes. Blend the ingredients until the three-ingredient copycat Frosty is smooth when the chocolate milk cubes are completely frozen, place them in a high-powered blender like a Vitamix along with the Cool Whip and sweetened condensed milk. Because Renal is compatible with other rare blood types in the RH family, researchers and doctors have recognized its value. Turn the blender on and puree the mixture until it's smooth and creamy. It's the golden blood, Thierry Perard, the director of the National Immunohematology Reference Laboratory in Paris, France, told Mosaic Science. You will definitely need to scrape down the sides from time to time, as it takes a while for the blender to break down all those ice cubes. If your blender comes with a tamper, use it, it will make life so much easier. When the three-ingredient copycat Frosty is finished blending, it will be thick like ice cream but soft like a milkshake. Although blood donors are kept anonymous, some scientists have attempted to locate renal donors to ask them for their blood directly, according to the publication. Golden blood, indeed. This rare body feature perfectly regulates cholesterol while many Americans may be trying to keep their cholesterol under control, some will never have to worry about it. Those folks have a mutation of the PCSK9 gene. Spoon the Frosty into a cup and enjoy it with a spoon or a straw. Or, dip some fries into it, we won't judge. This recipe makes about 16 ounces of Frosty, and you can store any extras in the freezer. The U.S. keep in mind they will freeze solid, so give yourself enough time to let the Frosty sit at room temperature for about 30 minutes before enjoying the leftovers. How close did our three-ingredient copycat Frosty get to the original? Everyone loved this three-ingredient copycat Frosty. One of the taste testers commented that it was richer and more chocolatey than Wendy's original, so we made a second batch and added a splash of vanilla extract. National Library of Medicine's Genetics Home Reference explains that this gene provides instructions for making a protein that helps regulate the amount of cholesterol in the bloodstream. When this gene is mutated in a particular way, it keeps bad cholesterol very low. When one woman realized she possessed the rare body feature that renders her incapable of developing high cholesterol, she said she really didn't understand it. But now I'm watching ads on TV for cholesterol-lowering drugs, and it's like, wow, I don't have that problem, she shared via nature. 
the extra ingredient went a long way to make the frosty taste almost exactly like the original, but we didn't mind the richer flavor without it, either. As far as texture goes, this recipe was spot on. According to the New York Times, only one other person has what the publication called a double dose of the mutation, one that was inherited from both parents. However, 2.5% of black people have since been found to have a singly mutated PCSK9 gene and 3.2% of white people have a slightly singly mutated gene. Both of these abnormalities help to regulate cholesterol, albeit not as effectively as a double mutation. A small hole near the ear is a rare body feature to have in the United States and United Kingdom. A tiny percentage, 0.1 to 0.9 percent, of babies are born with what's called a preauricular pit, a rare body feature. You may think it looks a little like a gill, and that's even what some evolutionary biologists theorize they were at one point. This pit is essentially a sinus tract traveling under the skin that doesn't belong there. It's marked by a tiny opening to the tract, right in front of the ear and above the ear canal, the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia CHOP explained. These pits form during the sixth week of gestation and, in most cases, are only present on one ear. According to CHOP, the malformation is not associated with hearing impairments, and only rarely associated with a genetic syndrome involving other problems. However, preauricular pits can be prone to cysts and infections. In such cases, the pit may be removed to prevent recurring problems. It had the same soft but firm consistency we've come to love with these milkshakes, and we could eat it with either a spoon or a straw. Although the chocolate frosties are our favorite, we did try a second version with regular milk instead of chocolate milk. Not surprisingly, it tasted similar to the vanilla frosty, but we did have to make a few modifications to get it the rest of the way. You'll definitely want to add the vanilla extract to this mixture, and we added extra sweetened condensed milk to amp up the sweet vibes. In the end, it's totally possible to make Wendy's copycat frosty recipes with only three ingredients, so stock up the freezer and say goodbye to the drive through Although you'll still have to hit it up from time to time if you want to pick up some dipping fries. Three ingredient copycat frosty directions prep time, five minutes plus four hours to freeze the chocolate milk cook time, zero minutes serves, one 16 ounce serving ingredients, one minus one quarter cup chocolate milk, frozen in an ice cube tray, one cup cool whip, one tablespoon sweetened condensed milk, optional ingredients, one eighth teaspoon vanilla extract directions, divide the chocolate milk between 16 ice cube trays. Otherwise, though, you can leave this mysterious orifice alone. Super color vision is a rare body feature only some women have our ability to see color is all thanks to cells in our eyes called cones, Discover explained. Freeze for at least 4 hours or until the milk is completely frozen. Place the chocolate milk ice cubes into a blender with the cool whip and sweetened condensed milk. Blend until smooth, scraping down the sides as needed. Typically, people have three types of cones to help them communicate with the brain and, therefore, see colors. Use the tamper, if you have one, to make it easier to force the chocolate ice cubes into the blender's blade. Spoon the copycat frosty into a cup and enjoy with a spoon or straw. Leftovers can be stored in the freezer. The frosty will become frozen solid, so let it sit at room temperature for 30 minutes before enjoying. However, researchers believe there's a percentage of people called tetrachromats who actually have four cones, a rare body feature. These people would be able to see 100 million different colors. Neuroscientist Gabriele Jordan of Newcastle University and her team spent years searching for tetrachromats and, in 2010, they finally found someone who fit the bill, as reported by BBC Future. In subsequent years, more people, interestingly all women, were discovered to see colors that many of us are unable to decipher. The condition may, in fact, be unique to women. Superior color vision sounds pretty magical, but it's not always a fun experience. The grocery store is a nightmare, Tetrachromat Conchetta Antico admitted to BBC Future. It's like a trash pile of color coming in at every angle. Despite seeing so many colors, Antico admitted that white is her favorite color because it is so peaceful and restful for her eyes. Ocular albinism a rare body feature that affects the eyes because albinism is often lumped into one category. You may not know that there are actually two different types of the condition, oculocutaneous known as OCA and ocular albinism aka OA. Although both forms can have an effect on hair, skin and eye pigmentation, OCA primarily affects the pigmentation of the skin whereas OA primarily affects the eyes. 
According to the National Organization for Albinism and Hypopigmentation, the skin and hair of people with ocular albinism may appear similar or slightly lighter than that of other family members. Although albinism is a rare body feature to have, OA is even rarer. The Vision of Children Foundation revealed that, while officially unknown, educated estimates vary between one person in 20,000 to one person in 50,000. Ocular albinism doesn't just alter the color of a person's irises, but can also cause reduced vision, sensitivity to light, and other, more serious eye conditions. What causes the rare body feature of a double row of eyelashes? With magnetic false lashes, we can all have lush, layered eyelashes. People with dystochiasis, though, already have this. The rare body feature dystochiasis is, according to the American Academy of Ophthalmology, a condition in which an extra row of eyelashes emerges from the ducts of meibomian glands. It results from a genetic mutation of the FOXC2 gene. Elizabeth Taylor had this mutation to thank for her voluminous lashes. According to the biography Elizabeth by J. Randy Terraborelli, Taylor's mother took the diagnosis in stride, thinking, well, now that doesn't sound so terrible at all. Before you get too jealous of people with this rare double row of lashes, though, you should know it comes with a few cons. What happens in dystochiasis is that a hair grows where there is supposed to be an oil gland on what's considered the wet part of the eyelid. Aaron Fay, an ophthalmic plastic surgeon at Massachusetts Eye and Ear Infirmary in Boston, explained to NBC News. This can cause tearing, eye irritation, and, in some cases, negatively impact a person's vision. One rare body feature caused some people to be super tasters. Science has shown that genetics play a role even in taste buds. Only about 25% of the population can be categorized as what researcher Linda Bartoshik dubbed a super taster, the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health's The Nutrition Source revealed. These super tasters have more visible taste papillae, tiny dots on the tongue, than do non-tasters. This rare body feature makes them more sensitive to the taste of certain foods, like those that are bitter, sweet, or salty. Because super tasters also have more pain receptors than non-tasters, they generally do not like spicy food. They're also less likely to smoke and don't typically like alcohol. Unfortunately, though, they also don't consume as many vegetables. This is because veggies tend to have a bitter taste. Nevertheless, the nutrition source explained that super tasters, especially those who are women, tend to have superior cardiovascular profiles and a lower BMI. Considering super tasters also don't love sweet and fatty foods, these things may very well be linked. Audi belly buttons are rare body features chances are you have an innie belly button. Yuri Hulser, a postdoctoral research assistant, along with a group of scientists at North Carolina State University founded the Belly Button Biodiversity Project, it's a thing, and, as part of their project, they studied, of course, belly buttons. Of the participants, only 4% reported having an outie belly button, a rare body feature. Barry Epley, an Indiana-based plastic surgeon, told Everyday Health that several things, from the belly button itself to the fat beneath it, determine which kind of belly button you'll end up with. Although this means you don't get to choose between an innie and outie, some have turned to plastic surgery to get their ideal belly button. Richard Chafu, president of the San Diego Plastic Surgery Society and chief of plastic surgery at Scripps Memorial Hospital in Encinitas, Calif, told the publication, the popularity of low-rise jeans and midriff tops has led to an enormous increase in the number of requests for belly button revision surgery in the past few years. Most of the people opting for cosmetic belly button revision surgeries, or umbilicoplasties, go from outies to innis. A few people have the rare body feature of unbreakable bones apparently there are people who don't have to stress over their calcium intake. People with a mutation in the LRP5 gene have high bone density and, as such, aren't at risk of developing osteoporosis, a study published in the New England Journal of Medicine revealed. The very few people, all from one family from Connecticut who have been identified as having the mutation, a rare body feature, experienced only one negative symptom, difficulty staying afloat while swimming. Richard P. Lifton, chair of the Department of Genetics, told Yale Medicine Magazine, if there are living counterparts to the hero in Unbreakable, who is in a terrible train wreck and walks away without a single broken bone, they're members of this family. He continued, saying, they have extraordinarily dense bones and there is no history of fractures. These people have about the strongest bones on the entire planet.
Their bones are so strong, in fact, that scientists began attempting to create a drug similar to the mutation in an effort to treat and even prevent osteoporosis. However, in 2006, the scientist reported that people with this genetic condition weren't limited to just one family but were found around the country, including in Nebraska. An absence of wisdom teeth is a truly rare body feature. Wisdom teeth may have once been important, but these days, they're kind of just a pain. Southern Illinois University's Robert Coraccini told New Scientist that when third molars aka wisdom teeth try to break through the gums, they often run out of space. This can lead to them becoming impacted. With our mouths unable to solve the issue of overcrowding themselves, we turn to oral surgeons to rip those wise teeth out. While not everyone will need extractions, an estimated 5 million people will go through the surgery each year. Some opt to get their third molars taken out before they have time to become a problem. You might not have symptoms now, but you can't assume it's gonna be that way for the rest of your life, Ray White, an oral surgeon at the University of North Carolina, told Vox. Interestingly, though, there are people that won't need to think twice about their wisdom teeth. Why? Simply because they don't have them. An estimated 35% of the population lack wisdom teeth altogether, making it a rare body feature, or lack thereof. Now that makes us jealous.